I'm kidding. Destroying them is part of the test. They are no more important to you than you are to me. compromise the test to divulge individual scores. However, I can tell you that at least one of you is doing very, very well. Please continue into the next test chamber. you think you are doing, but I don't like it. I want you to stop. The two of you have forged an excellent partnership, with one of you handling the cerebral challenges, and the other ready to ponderously waddle into action should the test suddenly become an eating contest.
While it may appear that I am only tracking your accomplishments using science collaboration points, the truth is every aspect of your performance will be reflected in your final score. For instance, Blue, you just lost two opportunity advisement points. <laughs> To reiterate, this is not a competition. Still, if it were, Orange would be winning. It's not, though. Blue receives five science collaboration points. You have a gift for these tests. That's not just flattery. You are great at science. Sometimes, testing has to occur outside the confines of the lab. This next test is so outside the box, I can't... I mean, won't even tell you what you were looking for. You will know it when you find it.
Congratulations. You managed to complete this absolutely meaningless test. Oh, I almost forgot. When you go outside the testing courses, the only way I can retrieve you is to violently disassemble you, then carefully reassemble you. Luckily, you don't feel pain. At any rate, you don't have a way to communicate that you feel pain. I consider that a failing, by the way. Stop it. What if you froze like that? There must be something wrong with the reassembly machine. Well, let's do some tests and see what happens. This course was originally designed to build confidence in humans. To do that, the tests were nothing more than five minutes of them walking, followed by me praising them for another ten minutes on how well they walked. Since you are thankfully not humans, I have changed the tests to make them far more challenging and far less pointlessly fawning. You did an excellent job placing the edgeless safety cube in the receptacle. You should be very... Oh wait, that's right, you're not humans. I can drop the fake praise. You have no idea how tiring it is to praise someone for placing an edgeless safety cube into a receptacle designed to exactly fit an edgeless safety cube. <laughs> 